Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls. Welcome back to Hydronia with myself. This is part seven. This is automating farming part one. So I'm going to break this down into two separate videos because the first video is going to basically be me getting uh, like almost a bit of my farm done. Um, I'm going to be having to hand work some of it for the time being until I can get obviously the processing plant done. I'm going to have to build some tokens to do that you see. Um, and I'm going to need a lot of sprinkler systems and various other bits and pieces and pipe work and bits and pieces. So for now we're just going to build a very very small farm that we can process ourselves, um, and then grow from there once we've got orders that we can almost commit to. Um, so considering at the moment I've got carrots, corn and tomatoes I'm going to basically grow a load of carrots, corn and tomatoes um, and hopefully with the way that we're going to run this I can get it to work the way that I specifically want it to work for now so I'm going to basically put three around the outside of it I mean, it's, it's yeah we'll see how it goes so let's forget about that a second I just need to build this pipe system leading down to the water And for now this can stay here I'm not gonna knock it into place because I don't see the point because I am at some point going to be moving this all around um, this pipe work will move I just hope I've got enough pipe work Did I switch the plant back on again? I can't remember. Yep. Oh dearie me! So I... Where's those corner pipes gone? Okay, I didn't even need that pipe. Okay, that's good. Uh, is that a corner pipe? No, it's not a corner pipe. That's a corner pipe. Let's get that in here a sec.
Right, let me get rid of all of these quickly. So these need working huh? up on my conveyor belt system. That would have to be that far away, wouldn't it? Is that all I've got? Right, it'll have to do. I was on the impression I had a, a little bit more than that in that trolley system. There we go. So I've got literally just shy of two bags worth. I'll bring more over at some point, but. So, eventually I'm, I'm going to go and run off and grab a few bits and pieces from the other side because what I want to do, and it's not really a difficult thing to, for me to do here because um, this is fundamentally where I'm going to be growing veg anyway later. Um, so all I'm going to really do now is just set up a very small system. So let me put that right there because I'm going to want to put a shard in it at some point just to help I'll tell you what I'm going to do here I'm going to bend it round like so because what I want to do here is that's where I'm going to put the sprinkler system and there should be a cork right here so if I dump that cork in that stops the movement of that second and and then we can just keep all the pipe work here for the time being the I, I've got a little idea of getting the sprinkler system set up so I'm gonna move everything down um, what I need is this at first I may just go grab my um, van to bring the rest of the part of oh, mortals. <coughs> there we go. Not running out of tools anytime soon. So the first orders I'm going to tackle is. Um, So there is a few, I'm going to take that a second, because I'm going to need that, I'm going to need my scales, grab my tomatoes, no don't throw it in there. There's some carrots, there's some corn, I may not even need corn. Um, we'll see. Cooking pots will be a good idea to take along with me. Uh, my cooker. My sprinkler. Mm -hmm. my forever lasting all right I won't really need I'm gonna take two watering cans just to be on the safe side just in case my idea doesn't work it's all trial and error really I'm gonna see whether I can get it to work the way I want it to 
because I want to grow a load of tomatoes first, corn, carrots and all that crap to do that with um, and then eventually go from there. Uh, hopefully the sprinkler system will take care of most of what I need and then I'm just going to carry on upgrading it until I can basically build what I want to build. Um, but for now I need to really think about getting broccoli and all that lot done so I may do is see if I can dump these in here can I no typical yeah I didn't think it would work Anything else I need? Just the watering cans, I think. So all that's basically going to be flat land again. Um, I'm going to flatten that off. Um, I've got to fill it in yet, but because. I didn't realise you can flatten it off. But, right, so I need to situate this probably here. So I've got a T-pipe somewhere. There it is. So there's a T-pipe. So I can just take that out. Turn that into a T-pipe. So that can then still grind up what I need. The sprinkler system, however wherever I've left it uh, there it is so if I put that here I should imagine that's going to spread water in so what I want to do very quickly is go Damn way, so I can't even dig the ground. Jesus, God damn Christ. So let's grab some carrots.
Okay, that was good. Eventually what I want to do is grow enough of everything. So the idea being is just constantly getting the growth together for now. So I mean hopefully that's going to And I've got some stuff that I can basically make probably the sprinkler system work even better. So I've got these here. So what I may do is just whack these on very quickly and hopefully we'll see a load more pressure coming through that pipe that will uh, allow the sprinkler to work even better than what it does because if it does then it means I can grow more stuff now which is what I really need to do and as soon as I'm able to I'm going to upgrade these to the core stone um, I mean yeah look at now do you not think that just got a little bit better? <laughs> I should imagine now if I Probably a bit more broccoli. I 
And I'm just going to stay here for a little while just to see the sunrise. Just to see it working. I want to see one bit of... I mean, it's not really a major big deal, but I'm actually thinking it's putting a shard bar in there. So, if I bang... Grab that a second. And grab that whole entire shard bar. I'm probably going to see that grow even more. It doesn't look like much, but... Until I buy that harvester, I don't really know how much space I'm really going to need, so it's just going to have to be what it is. <clears throat> but by the looks of things, all these plants are actually getting fed with water, otherwise they'd have dried out by now. And I'm just going to keep planting beetroot, like every time I get beetroot I'm just going to basically disintegrate it down every time I get because I need 300 beetroot 300 broccoli so the idea is basically just every single time I get beetroot and broccoli I'm just going to cart it down until I get the, the the order for the big order for the bastion keep order that I've got um, as soon as I can do that, the better, really. The sun's coming up now, so I should be able to see my crops grow. The only problem I've got is I've got crops growing underneath the pipe, and that's tomatoes, so I'm not sure whether they're actually going to grow or not. Um, we shall see. I hope so. We've been planted, so...
It seems to be working pretty well. So happy days. of things that tomatoes aren't actually growing. <laughs> I know they are. That's carrots and numb now. Everything seems to be growing wonderfully. I've yet to see a single plant not get fed water. Sorry, I'm just texting my daughter and son. So it works. Fundamentally, the, the situation, it, it works. And happy days. I mean, like, I really like it. The whole plant, when I finally get round to building it, it's going to look... Um, right, two seconds. I, I need to come off, but I'll be back later. My kids are on the way home, and um, they're texting me, and it's making me sidetrack a bit. So I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> 